Morning, welcome back. Oh, before you watch this video, I need to see your ID first. I mean, I love your confidence. Just need to confirm some things. You can never be too sure with all this Photoshop going around. By the way, I had to get rid of J-Hope in the background because the camera kept focusing on his face instead of mine. What the hell, man? I know my voice can sometimes sound AI coded, but my face is literally a real face. He was just a drawing. But if you're like me, you might have a lot of doubts about what someone looks like online. Is that your real face? Do you partake in mewing? Are your parents' names A and I? There are now mixed race people who are half human, half filter. With the way beauty technology has evolved to be almost undetectable to the untrained eye, how we're able to pop into a clinic during lunch and come out as a new sim character, I'm starting to wonder, have we gone too far with the looks maxing? To the point where our faces have strayed too far from the original plot. What is this, Hunter Hunter? Which I thought was a kid's show cause the artwork? It is not. And I know looks can change as people get older. Maybe you went from the nerd genre to an emo concept during 2002 to 2003. But unless you're hitting a spontaneous adult puberty seven to eight times during your lifetime, our faces should stay relatively the same. Segway into facelifts. A plastic surgery procedure that eradicates all your wrinkles, geared towards people who are older and want to correct signs of aging like sagging of the face. I need to know what inspired the first person to do it, like the first person that milked the cow. We're not talking about the viral botched facelifts that we've seen on TikTok by Dr. Kim. The Chinese surgeon with a Korean last name who's famous in America with training from Seoul and a clinic in Japan? Talk about Mr. Worldwide. But more so the procedures performed by the wickedly talented surgeons who can somehow defy the laws of gravity by how their client's faces just snap back into place. Did they dabble in time magic? Some of these results are insane. Take this picture for example. If I had to guess how old this lady is, I'd say she's in her 30s, early 40s. Turns out, after getting a facelift at 59 years old, she's de-aged herself so much, she's ready to debut as a Targaryen on House of Dragons. How is this even possible? Are you sure sure this isn't a before and after of someone getting older put in the wrong order? I thought real life reverse aging was still in its kickstarter research phase. Where were the patch notes for this buff? I didn't get the memo. When plastic surgery is done correctly by a really skilled professional, it's amazing to see what it can actually do for someone. Especially now, when looking old is an insecurity a lot of people have. Society, man! Aging is a blessing and we should embrace it. But come on, who wouldn't want to open up a fresh save file with a new character now with pretty privilege? You know a facelift was properly done when the patient looks more or less the same. They now look like the 8 hours of sleep every single night for 40 years version of themselves. Although, I have this really funny picture in my head. Unless a 70 year old senior citizen gets work done on their entire body, I'm just imagining a frail 4 foot grandma showing up to bingo night in her Skechers windbreaker combo with a yassified bold glamour face. Approach everything you see on social media with a grain of salt. Sometimes pictures can be faked. Well, technically anything can be. This one here had me confused. The change was so drastic. This picture came from a clinic in Turkey and I really didn't believe it at first. I understand that she got two years worth of plastic surgery. That includes a facelift, blepharoplasty, and a nose job. I swear, this is clearly two different people. Just look at the eye color. But then I looked a little closer. Why would a plastic surgery clinic go through all the trouble of finding someone with a similar face structure who's also conveniently older? Seems like a lot of work for something you could easily disprove. I think the surgeon that worked on this face was just really skilled. But I do suspect them of photoshopping and face tuning the after photo to an extent. Maybe threw in a couple beauty filters here and there as well. And with the different eye colors, I'm realizing it's just contacts. As a connoisseur and victim to the blue eyes cosplay curse, this is a K-pop idol contact lens stare. There's a phenomenon with celebrity ages recently, where they can look somewhere between the ages of 30 to 60 in the span of two years. One year they'll look like their age, and then in a year or two, they show up as a cosplay of themselves from 10 years ago. There was a trend of taking out your buckle fat a few years ago that swept through social media. Pronounced cheekbones and angular jawlines were in. It doesn't matter if you can't read, when you can just eat the books. But now we're realizing the fat in our faces are the preservatives that keep us from aging. Like that bag of salad you bought last week that you forgot about. Oh shit. I will say it again, facial fat is good fat. With the rise of these two trends, we're losing fat in our face and that can lead to premature aging. Fat in our face is supportive, especially in our mid face. With rapid weight loss, we see flattening of the cheeks, which leads to deeper folds below. With buccal fat removal, we're losing some of the support in our lower face, which can also lead to jowling down the road. 
celebs were the leaders of these two trends and that's why i think we're going to see them going for early subtle quiet facelifts so the people who have taken out their cheek fat are regretting it, putting it back in, and topping everything off with a facelift to look youthful again. Our faces are customizable to an extent. This isn't a video game where you can change your appearance as much as you want with money without any repercussions. I always wondered what happens to your government issued IDs when you buy a new face. Like you'd have to take the photo again, right? A TSA agent is gonna look at your passport and think, if you're gonna fake an identity, at least scam someone who looks your age. There's even instances where people weren't able to return home after getting cosmetic procedures done in another country. And that's when it dawns on me, oh, I've realized I don't look like the person in my passport photo anymore because <laughs> I've had so much plastic surgery. Anyway, so I end up having to say to them, look, I've had some plastic surgery, I had a facelift, and I, only then do they let me through. I suppose you want to see my passport photo. In 2017, a group of three women were unable to return from a trip to South Korea after receiving cosmetic surgery. The travelers from China were detained by border officials who were unable to recognize them through bandages and swollen faces. Did they literally roll off the operating table and attempt to fly? You need at least a few weeks to heal up a bit. They face swapped too hard that the facial recognition machines at the airport got confused. If I looked at my passport photo, then looked in the mirror, and saw two different faces, I would never even think about attempting to get on a plane. Even even though I'm not doing anything illegal, the stress I would feel would make me think I am. Even AI has changed our perception of how we recognize human faces online. Did you know that 99% of pictures have been digitally altered to some extent? How do I know that? I just made it up. See how easy it is to get fooled on the internet? Just like how this cute Asian girl motorcycle influencer fooled the nation. Flashing a youthful grin in various selfies with a twinkle in her eye. She was known to thousands of Twitter followers as a beautiful biker documenting her life in Japan. That was, until recently, when the true identity of this thrill-seeking young woman was revealed. He's actually a 50-year-old man with face app on his phone. <laughs> man, that's crazy. Who would use filters to make a fake identity to gain a following? The man, who goes by the name Zong Yu, confessed that he used an AI-powered face-changing app to make himself look like a young woman. No one will read what a normal middle-aged man taking care of his motorcycle and taking pictures outside posts on his account, he said, according to a translation by BBC News. I mean, yeah, that's pretty privileged in a nutshell. Four years later, and he's still doing the same thing. At least her bob is fa. During their early stages, beauty filters were so janky. On pictures, they weren't too bad because they were easier to control and more predictable. These were the 3D face mesh filters that are overlaid on top of your face. They basically just sit on the surface of your face, and sometimes you'll see an eyelash or an eyebrow floating in someone's hair. They're even more unpredictable in video form. If you turn your head slightly to the side or something goes in front of your face, the filter will start glitching, and you'll have to come up with an excuse of why your face shape is doing aerobics during a live stream. So it's like this, and like... <laughs> now we have new evolved AI beauty filters that use machine learning. After digitally scanning your face features, it'll pull from its large database of faces that are deemed conventionally attractive, and it'll recreate those facial features on your face. We're familiar with the bold glamour filter, right? The infamous beauty filter on TikTok that makes you look like a realistic, better version of yourself. So it takes your face, scans it, compares it to a bunch of other instrument images, which these images most likely perpetuate unrealistic beauty standards, which is why it looks like this. But then it takes those learnings and then redraws your face. This graph is what AI will create when you ask it to create an ugly face versus an attractive face. And apparently you can have messy or wavy hair because that makes you ugly. Guess I'll be adding get a silk press to my weekly activities. That 50 year old man who could only take pictures of himself as a kawaii Japanese girl can now make a feature length film where he can eat, sleep, and stretch his skin without the face filter disappearing. Chisi 
Someone get him a voice changer and a Douyin account. Cute influencers already have to compete in the saturated market of thousands of other cute influencers. Who knew your biggest competition was actually your own audience? And it's not just our faces we can alter, but our bodies too. We've seen those exaggerated Jaffe body proportions in Floptropica, and people replicating Spongebob's tall, dark, and handsome legs. Yes, her body T. But being tall with anime figure limbs has its disadvantages. It's getting harder to tell if someone's real or completely AI generated. Is this look achievable with hard work, or are we seeing something a machine created? Or is it a mix of both? Aside from these exaggerated body proportions, there are filters that are so subtle you can't even tell there's a filter on until it comes off. Who knows how many of those gym influencers are actually posting pictures of themselves unedited. I'm sure they naturally look great, but it's hard to resist that temptation to give yourself a bit of an edge, especially if everyone else is doing it. Using an undetectable filter on your photos is the standard, that's where the bar is at now. Once you start making yourself look different online, it's hard to go back to a filter-free face. But maybe we'll start seeing a movement or a trend in the future, where we get so sick of people looking the exact same, it'll be in to look a little funky. Or maybe you don't care and you're happy doing a character creation screen on your own face. Man, those two wolves inside of you are constantly fighting. You're either the before look of the main character from True Beauty, or the after. If you guys ever have a suspicion that I've been replaced with AI, you have permission to check my fingers and toes to make sure I have the correct amount. One of them might be behind a paywall though. Apparently, it's not in to show your feet for free on the internet. But rumor has it the YouTube algorithm has some pretty nice floor grippers. Pay it a compliment by giving this video a like. That also lets me know you enjoyed the content, and I'll get to see you next time I post. By the way, I'm going to Singapore for the first time, any recommendations of what to do there? I was so surprised to learn the cities people are watching me from. Singapore actually ranks third. Salamat, ni hao ma, ni hao ma. Is that what you guys speak? I hope that's correct. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one.